Good evening, you guys. I am not sure yet what this video is going to be titled. I want to do a living room makeover slash refresh fall inspired, I guess, but I feel like it's not truly fall decorating because my house kind of always looks like it's ready for fall. I tend to gravitate towards those earthy, warm tones, so fall is kind of my general styling, I guess you would say. So I have to figure out what I'm actually going to call this, but I will say when working on my living room, one thing that is always obvious is that the majority of this room is thrifted. And so I think it's a good reminder that you don't have to buy all new things to create a really beautiful space. So I'll work on figuring out what this is going to be called. But in the meantime, let me show you the room. It is mostly cleared out. I have left a couple things up that I do want to stay, but for the most part, we're gonna be working on the rest of this space, and I'm actually not gonna be starting it until tomorrow, so next time you see me will be a different day. But we're gonna get this space refreshed and hopefully create a pretty new look in here. So I'm thinking that I might have to change courses here. I was initially going to cut all of the pieces and then stain them and then nail them in once they were dry, but I don't think that's going to be a good decision. I think I'm just going to have to build it piece by piece, so nail it in and then stain it all at the end. Also, to be honest, I'm not sure if I'm going to end up loving what it looks like stained. I might have to paint it, but that's a different day's problem. This window is just so big that I feel like if I don't kind of frame it out and build it piece by piece, I'm going to end up making a mistake. So I'm going to start kind of putting in each piece as I cut it and we'll go from there. on a pause. This last hour has been the most frustrating. I made one wrong cut and it doesn't allow the top board there to like rest on the top two. I ended up sort of like stapling it together kind of, but I literally have a hammer on both sides for weight because I put some wood glue between to help support it. I do have to work on the middle, but I am not even touching it right now. I, I, I have no words. I'm at a place where I'm just like, I need to take a little break. I need to drink some water. I just need to think about my next steps and really just not touch that again for right now.
I was going to be done for the day, but I really kind of want to test out a stain just to see if I like it and that's the direction I'm going to end up going. So I think I'm going to put some stain on this side piece, maybe the other one too if I think I like it, and just see what it looks like. morning it is a new day that window was tough yesterday the boards are so long because of how big the window is that it was it was just so hard to hold the boards up by myself and try to use like the nail gun and the clamps and the wood glue and everything at the same time but it's all together you did see me stain the two side pieces I still don't know how I totally feel about it. I'm gonna stain the rest of it just to see if I like the way it looks. And I may end up going, I used an oil-based stain, but I might end up going over it with gel just to deepen it up. I'm not sure yet. Right now I'm just gonna stain the top part and let that dry just to see if I definitely like the look. So I am jumping ahead here because the wall sconces that I ordered did come in and I really just want to get those hung up. I am not going to be hard wiring these, I'm going to use puck lights. So I'm just tucking the wiring in behind the plate and that will just go onto the base plate and we don't have to worry about putting those wires through the wall or anything like that. I think that wall sconces are a great way to add an additional layer of mood lighting to your room. You do not have to hardwire them if you don't want to. And these ones come with a remote and are also dimmable. And they do also change colors in terms of the lights, but I probably won't use that feature. I'll probably just use the dimmable feature. Good morning, it is another day. I think the last thing that you would have seen from me is putting up the wall sconces back there. Finding a piece for over my sectional is really challenging because the sectional is so long that if I wanted to do one R piece, the scale of it would have to be huge. So. I did choose an art piece, but it really wasn't large enough to stand on its own, so I felt like the wall sconces were going to be a great addition, but I just wanted to get them hung up and get that out of the way because it's just tricky making sure that they're even and I really just wanted that project to be over with. So here is where we are right now. I did have some pieces of art already hung up that I did like and I wanted to keep, so they're still there. But overall, the room is really just kind of blank right now and ready to be styled. I do have a whole bunch of stuff here that we're gonna use to style with. I had styled my desk, but that's a bit of a mess now, so I might need to pop back over there to work that out. But Let's start working on getting this space styled. I don't know where she came from. Kind of turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I want to spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t-shirts so it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about. I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have 
Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. There's something about the way she laughs and the way she always dances when she thinks nobody sees. She's gonna miss her so I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just wanna tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever... All right, I'm now gonna work on styling the top of this console table as well as the wall. This is a section of my living room where I kind of have a tough time styling it because I tend to gravitate towards the tones that are the same as the console so the area sometimes ends up getting like kind of washed out so I really want to challenge myself to break up the space a little bit at least maybe with an art piece or something but it's a work in progress. But we'll see what we come up with. I do need to get something for underneath the console. There is a vent under there, and so I'm gonna try to look for something that can kind of conceal it. I was thinking about doing two baskets, but I have to find ones that would be the right size so that they can fit underneath, so I'm gonna have to work on that. But we'll at least work on getting the top and kind of the wall area styled, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting but then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken cause you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free Oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing but with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better All right, it is the final day for this room. We just have a couple quick styling things to do. Just going to add some baskets, some little touches around my fireplace, my faux fireplace. One thing you did not see that I didn't film because quite honestly I've never done it before was mount my TV and it's just made such a difference in the room. I love that I can actually have it separate from my little mantle now. I have to just do a little styling on my desk and that is it. The overwhelming majority of this room truly is thrifted and I just feel like that's a great reminder that you can create beautiful spaces and you don't have to constantly be buying new things, um, especially seasonal decor. You don't have to do that. You can thrift, you can repurpose, and you can have a beautiful home. So let's tackle these last few styling pieces and then we'll do the reveal. Seems like for together Oh God, I miss you bad And I read your letters And look at your pictures Oh God, I miss 
It's been so long.